What is up, everybody? Hope everyone's doing fine. I was just here preparing. Uh, actually, I wasn't preparing. I was checking on my biofertilizer. This is an anaerobic biofertilizer, and I was just I I actually put it to ferment uh, just four days ago, and I was just checking if it needed more water. Now it's uh, it doesn't, so I'm not gonna open it again in a while. But that's not the topic of today. Forget about sustainability. You want to enrich ecosystems. Every being is equipped to live a positive energetic balance. Keep it pruned. We are cultivating abundance. Not a problem to cut down trees. The problem is not planting them. Today I'm going to be showing you uh, this plot and talking about the importance of pruning nearby trees and I know this is a, a topic I've treaded on quite a lot but that just goes to show you the importance of it and I'm gonna you're gonna see with your own eyes why it's so important so check this out this area here was planted two months ago or rather three months ago and um, here's a card uh, to another video where I talked about this area when it was 40, 50 days old. Now, I want you to observe something. Check out this pigeon pea here. You can see it's, uh, it's looking good. You know, there are some that are already about chest high. So, you know, in this side of the, of the thing, of the, of the area, the pigeon pea has developed quite nicely but now let's take a look at the nearby rows over here you can't even see the pigeon piece from where you're standing so i'm going to show them to you here's one here's another one so they're like 60 centimeters tall maximum the tallest ones are 60 centimeters tall Funny thing is, let me change the camera to give you a better. There is a very clear line, okay, which is right here. So this row of pigeon pea looks good. You can see they're over there. Here's one, here's another one, here's another one. This row is shitty. They're all small. From this side, to that side, they're all shitty. From this side to the right here, they're all looking good. Look, one here, one here, one here. And you can see the bananas plants are looking better as well. Check them out here. And now check them out here, the puny ones, right? And now I want um, to tell you something. This, um, this row here, the first one where the pigeon piece look good, is exactly five meters from the leftover vegetation that I didn't prune. Exactly five meters. And I'm gonna have to change the camera again. I want you to tell me, I am one, uh, 180 tall, okay? That's uh, six feet tall for our American friends. Uh, all right, check out the height of the tree, kind of. And I'm going to go to the tree so that you can estimate the height of this tree. Oops. How high do you think it is? It's pretty much five meters tall. Give or take half a meter. What can you uh, infer from that, if, if there is such a word? The nearby vegetation will influence a radius equal to its height. Okay, so that's something for you to remember. This plot was planted during a course, so, you know, things were a bit... Um, intense and we didn't really have time to prune the trees and of course i messed up 
in my own organization because I didn't come afterwards to prune the trees. I was without a chainsaw at the time. So that's why I didn't. Um, but you can see the influence it has. Like there is, there is no doubt. And it's, it's so clear uh, how it's so clear the reach of the of of the of this influence. Many people think it's about shade, and it is about shade, but it's not only about shade. I've got shade on the other side as well. I've got shade on the other side as well. But the point is the kind of shade, the kind of trees that are uh, uh, shading. Because look at look at this. These are weak trees. They've got small leaves. They've got a bunch of dead branches. A bunch. They're all filled with vines. So it it is it is a, a sick plant. It's not doing nearly as much photosynthesis as these ones, which I've been pruning constantly, and they've got big, strong leaves, strong shoots, vigorous branches, right? So it's a completely different information uh, being exchanged underneath the soil. Because what happens is microorganisms are the kings of communication, right? Underneath the soil. So uh, an unhealthy tree will not feed microorganisms because it doesn't have enough carbon to feed them. But the plant can only feed a microorganism if it has a positive net balance of photosynthesis, right, of carbon. Otherwise, it won't. Those trees don't. They can't even, they, they can barely sustain themselves. You know, they're, they're really just dying. So you really need to prune them down so that they get this sort of, uh, this is the same species, okay, people? L let me show you something. <laughs> uh, this species is called Kambuata. It's, uh, I've talked about it quite a lot because it's very common here in my area. So uh, it's from the, um, what should I call it? The family. It's a uh, Sapindasi. I don't know how guys pronounce that in English. I call it Sapindasi. Same, uh, same uh, family as Guarana. I don't know if you guys know Guarana. It's an Amazon, it's an Amazon fruit. All right, so this is the leaf of the that stick tree over there this is the leaf of the healthy one <laughs> is there a difference i think there is i don't know if you see it i'm going to i'm going to take one out just to make sure you and i'm going to put it in a in the in the soil on the soil so that you can uh, you can see for yourself the difference. Healthy Kambuata, dying Kambuata. And uh, they say that a, an image is worth more than a thousand words, so I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> I'll just uh, I'll leave with that uh, note. All right, so prune your trees. Check out this other video that I made uh, some months ago, I don't know, about the three mistakes people make in agroforestry and people including me. One of these mistakes is not pruning the nearby vegetation. And you can see that I, I do it every now and then because of lack of organization. So yeah, thank you for watching. If you enjoy our content, if we're helping you out, in your agroforestry uh, journey, make sure you share the channel with other people, with your friends, people who you think might be uh, helped by our content. And the best thing you can do to help us uh, reach more people is to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel and share it with as many people as you can. We have a free agroforestry course here in the YouTube channel. You can check it out. Here's the, the card to the first module. We have five modules. It's 25 lessons over five hours and a half of content where we take you through all of the principles, the techniques, 
most important to agroforestry system. And we actually take you through the preparation of a new plot. You know, we take you step by step, soil preparation, planning, some, some companion planning schemes. So definitely check that out. And if you want to take a step further, join us in our patron community. You can join us for $7.90. Uh, you will get access to extra material. You will get to participate in our Q&As that we do monthly with our patrons. And, um, and it's a great way to support the channel and help us reach more people around the world. The word of Agroforge. All right, so I'll catch you in the next video. I'm Felipe for the Agroforge Academy. I'm signing out. Peace.